Zampo and the heartiest welcome. I'm Nishe, your host, and this is Talk and Show. My guest for tonight is a force of nature, a dreaded cancer victor. Please welcome Vima Subedi. Welcome to the show, Vima. Thank you, Nishe. Thank you for having me here. It's an honor and lo it's lovely to be here. Mm, it's a pleasure as well. Okay, Vima, so hello, how are you? Well, I'm doing good. Okay. I'm happy these days. Ah, I'm glad to hear that. So. Can you tell us a bit about yourself, briefly? Well, I'm Vima Subedi, mm -hmm. I'm from Dagana, mm -hmm. and I'm currently staying in Thimpo. Okay. Recently shifted here, and I'm a cancer survivor. Okay, what uh, do you like to do in your uh, spare time, leisure activities? What leisure do you like to do? Leisure activities, well, sometimes I read books, mm -hmm. not the all time, but, and other times I'm always with my uh, news feeds, you Facebook. Facebook. Facebook? Facebook, okay. yes. You like to be on social media? Yes, a lot. Okay, a lot. Okay. Um, so, Vima, I understand that you're a small business owner, right? Yes. So, how are you faring amid COVID? <coughs> well, it's just been two months for me starting this business. Mm. And as such, I have not uh, faced lockdown or, you know, anything else like that. Uh, and I started b my business just for, you know, for a time pass, just for... Um, my mind to be fresh so that I could engage in something and as long as Buddhist people are eating doma I don't think I'm facing <laughs> any difficulties in that mm. well okay so as long as Buddhist people are eating, eating doma yes, you're going I to be in business <laughs> that's a really you know refreshing <laughs> attitude okay Vima the next segment it is called true or false so in okay. this segment I'm going to ask you a couple of statements mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a couple of statements and you have to state whether it's true or false according to you okay it's okay. your perspective <laughs> Okay. Please take the prop, use that prop. Oh, I have yeah. to take this one? Yes. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, so this is the true and then this the is other true, side. This is true, this is false. Yes, okay, okay got good. it. Okay, so you ready to go? Yes. Okay, let's go. Number one, something made me happy today. True or false? Okay, true. Okay, what made you happy today? Well, as long as, you know, as soon as I entered your office, you complimented me with my hair, this new <laughs> hairstyle that I'm having. <laughs> okay. And I'm, so it really made me happy. Uh, I'm so glad I did that. Your hair is like... Beautiful, genuinely, <laughs> sincerely, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much. You've got this beautiful curls going <laughs> on. You know, people spend money and time to get that, but you got it naturally. So, thank that you. You're, you, ha you got a beautiful hair. Okay, so I'm glad uh, I made you happy. And number two, I am grateful. Are you grateful, true or false? Yes, yes, okay. definitely. I'm really, really grateful for you know, uh, surviving this cancer stage, and you know, I'm really grateful to be born in such a beautiful country and like Bhutan, okay. where we get free medical treatments, everything is free in here, mm. starting from education. Mm. So I'm really, really grateful for that. Okay, so you're grateful for being born in Bhutan and as for well surviving cancer? Cancer, yes, yes. Okay, two profound things to be grateful about. Oh. The next segment, it is called Moral of the Story. In mm -hmm. this segment, I would like to know two lessons that you have learned in your life. Please impart your wisdoms. Okay, uh, well, the lessons I have learned, when doctor says you have got cancer, then those words can be devastating as sometimes, and, and mm. for anybody it would be. And similarly, it was for me as well. Then, uh, you know, uh, the lessons that I have learned is, I didn't know I was this stronger. I came out to be so strong person. Then another lesson that I have learned is, you know, no matter what, your life is more valuable, your world is more valuable than anything else. Nothing ad, uh, else would matter, you know, when you are battling a cancer. Your, your status doesn't count, mm. the, you know, your mo money, nothing else counts at mm. that time. It's only the, you know, your world, your life. Mm. You're saying you understand your worth, right? You're celebrating yourself as a person, yes, yes, right? Yes. Okay, two lovely lessons, Vima. The next segment, it is called Mystery Maze. So in this segment, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you two dad jokes and one Bhutanese riddle. Are you ready? Okay, okay let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. Number one, how does the moon cut his hair? It's a dad joke. How does the moon, moon cut, cut its hair? Hair. Hair, hair. How does the moon cut yeah. its hair? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's a dead joke. Dead jokes are nonsense. They are fun, but it lightens up the mood, <laughs> breaks the eyes, whatever. <laughs> so what, how do you think the moon cuts, I cuts its hair? Something happens to moon that mm -hmm. looks like the moon has just got a haircut. What do you think it is? Come on, you can do it. Uh, think. Uh, full moon? Is it? Not a full moon. Something happens to the moon that looks like the moon has just got an haircut. Eclipse or something like that? Eclipse or something like that, Bravo, right? Bravo, eclipse, <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah, the <laughs> when the moon is eclipsed by Earth's shadow, oh, yeah, it looks oh, a certain part of the moon yes, is not visible, cut, right? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So it looks like the moon has moon. just got a haircut. Mm -hmm. You know, the part of it is gone. So yeah, oh, it's yes. kind of a, it's a dad joke, like I said. It doesn't have logic or whatever. So it's just to make, uh, you know, things lighter. We need it in this pandemic, right? Yes, yes. Okay, number two. Okay, listen to this carefully. Mm -hmm. Listen <coughs> to this carefully. When I say listen, you have to really think about it, okay? Okay. What did... Baby corn, say to the mama corn. It's a dad joke again. No logic, remember? Okay. It's just fun. Uh, what did baby corn say to the mama, mama corn. corn? What did baby, baby corn, corn say, say to, to the, the mama, mama corn? corn? Come on. It it has to do with movies. Movies. Yeah. So that's it. Movies and when you go to movies. When we go to movies, what do we do? Watch. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> no, what do we get? Popcorn. Oh, yes. What popcorn. <laughs> yeah, popcorn. Where is popcorn? <gasps> oh, what yes, it's popcorn. Mama <laughs> corn say to the baby corn. Where is popcorn? It was popcorn. <laughs> yeah, so there is such a, you know, we're talking about a family. We get a family image, oh, right? Mama okay, corn, okay, baby okay. corn, and the papa corn. So mm -hmm. popcorn. So oh, oh, yes, it's popcorn. popcorn? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, so you somehow you mm, got I'm it. I'm so correct. bad at it. You're not exactly bad. I mean, <laughs> after a certain clue, you get it. <laughs> okay. My brain so is slower somehow then. Somehow you got two riddles correct. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm amazed. Oh, yeah. Number three and the final riddle. It's a Bhutanese riddle, okay? okay. Now we are done with dad jokes, okay. okay? I answer without being called. What am I? I, I answer, answer without being, without being called. called. I answer yeah, nobody being calls called. me, but I answer anyhow. I like answering. Phone calls? No. No. <laughs> It's not people. It's not human being. Okay, I answer without being called. Mm. I answer being without called. But it's a living thing, uh, and it's not a human I being. I answer, answer without being called. Dog cannot be the one. If I if I call you, how mm -hmm. would you answer? La, yes. La, but La. informal. Informal. Vima. If I say Vima, you would say? Huh. <laughs> Ah, right? ah, 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 ah. ah, so that's the thing, a uh, common uh, response we give to people when they call us. Mm -hmm. If somebody calls me Yishe, I would say ah, informally, ah. right? But most, uh, th now, these days people are like tend to go formally, so they say la, but ah is like, you know. Yeah, informal. Yeah, okay. it's informal. So, so what says ah? What ah. living being says ah? Horse? Oh, cow? Cow? Cow says Cows no. Yeah. Oh. A, ah. living <laughs> a living being that says ah. Hen? Oh no. God, Bima. <laughs> what is that? I'm not able to give. Yes. I'm crow. <laughs> oh man. It's crow, yes. Crow calls, right? When they call, it says ah, ah. ah. So it sounds like, you know, we're, we're answering to somebody. Yes. Anyhow, you got two out of three, <laughs> so that's pretty good for your first try. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's all with Mystery Maze. Okay, Vima, the next segment, it is called Once Upon a Time. Mm -hmm. So it's story time. It's story time, and I would like to hear your incredible story. So please take it away. Okay. Uh, well, I was born in Dagana. I did my high school in Dagana, Dagana. secondary school. Mm -hmm. Then I finished my degree from Sherabzi in the year 2017. I was in, uh, in final year in Sherabzi when I knew that you know something is wrong with my body. I started having headaches, the severe headaches, continuous nose bleeding for you know like uh, four or five months. Then I started losing my memory. That was the most difficult part for me. And I couldn't share with anybody else because it would just make me look weird. 
uh, then uh, one it was as I think it was Saturday I was in my friend's room I suddenly got an seizure attack mm -hmm. that time I didn't know it was a seizure attack but later on uh, we knew that it was a seizure seizures mm -hmm. attack and uh, the the provost and my friends they took me to hospital Kanglung uh, mm. at that time I was yes yeah, it was just a BHU then they knew uh, it was a seizure attack the doctors told me mm. it was a seizure attack and immediately they referred me Thimpo because mm. they didn't want to keep me you know s longer because they knew if it is a seizure attack something wrong if something there is something big would be behind yeah, that. that something you know there is something wrong with my brain yeah so they immediately referred me Thimpo. Then after coming here, after doing you know travel checkups and MRI, we knew there's a, a tissue growing in my brain, mm. and doctors said that you know for uh, uh, three years I have to be treated with the medicines. Mm. They couldn't you know uh, go with the surgeries that time, and uh, you know, within that three years I had um, you know several. Uh, seizure attacks every once in a week sometimes even I used to get twice in a day mm. and th that became so difficult mm. for me especially when I was traveling like I used to stay in Finseling and uh, it was you know difficult for me to travel alone in bus I couldn't uh, bring my you know uh, I mean someone to accompany me because my sister is a, she's a teacher and she couldn't come with me and neither my younger sister could come because she was babysitting at that time so my parents were back uh, in Dagana. They wanted to come along with me, but you know, uh, in back of my head, I never wanted someone to treat me like a patient, right? I, I'm, I'm mm. not a patient. I just got a disease, but I, I didn't want someone to take care of me, you know, like I, I didn't want people to uh, treat me like I'm handicapped, yes. I didn't want, you know, people to do that. And yeah, I came alone because, you know, I had to come to hospitals every, uh, once in a month mm. and then after that uh, after three years uh, they decided to go further with my surgery mm. so uh, in March 2019 they decided to go further with my surgery then after that uh, we thought uh, he did a surgery but we knew after uh, two days we knew it was just a biopsy biopsy means a cancer test so that time we knew it was a cancer brain tumor cancer astrocytoma and uh, anaplastic astrocytoma a real brain cancer okay then so astrocytoma you yeah. found out that you had astrocytoma, had astrocytoma in 2019 19 only? yes okay. yes 2019 before it they said it was a stroke oh. uh, you know blood clot in the oh, brain okay. so after doing the biopsy we knew that it was not stroke rather it was a cancer and anap uh, the anaplastic mm. astrocytoma grade three mm. and um, and then after you know having I, I after even after having that th that biopsy, I I didn't stop getting the uh, seizure attacks. Then after I think it was after seven months I was referred down to Calcutta. Mm. Then down there one doctor Doctor Pradhan he treated me in hospital uh, Institute of Neuroscience. He treated me there. Then it was a complete successful one. Then I came back here, they immediately started my radiotherapy, which went for one and a half month, then followed by chemo. I didn't take, uh, they didn't give me chemo uh, injection, rather I took chemo medicine mm. uh, for four months, I think. And it was the most toughest time when, uh, you know, during my cancer stage, that was the most toughest time, the chemotherapy, chemo medicine. Mm. Since I underwent the surgeries, I didn't have I ha didn't have to I mean you know take the injection. Rather, they gave me the medicine. Mm. And what were the side effects of the oh medicine? Oh my God, side side effects were so you know, I would throw up every now and oh. then. I wouldn't be able to eat. I would go sleepless night. Then after you know taking those medicine, I got anxiety, mm -hmm. and that was the worst thing. You know, anxiety lasted for around five months, and I even went for depression, anxiety and depression. That 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 was the most difficult part, while while fighting cancer, I think. Mm. And well, after doing uh, radiotherapy, I was uh, you know uh, after I mean radiotherapy and chemo, then I was again diagnosed with the anxiety and depression. Mm. The most terrible part of the whole you know battling okay. this yeah, stage, you know. And after that. Mm, I fought with anxiety for almost four or five months. 
then I overcame that also. Mm. Now you know, now I'm in a, you know I only have to go hospital, visit hospital every six months, mm. every you know interval of six months. Mm. Then uh, I think next month is m the time check when I have time. to yeah check up time when I have to go for the MRI. Right now I don't have to you know take medicines or anything. Mm. Uh, the only you know I have to only go for the checkups, regular checkups every six months. Mm. So are you free of cancer currently, astrocytoma? Yeah, I think I am because you know Unless my it comes yes, sometimes it comes back. Yes, yes there is I'm always sorry. <laughs> there <laughs> is always yeah. a fear of coming back because yeah. astrocytoma is yes, yes 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 the you know and uh, astrocytoma which I got was the malignant and here malignant means you know chances of reoccurring uh. Uh, after maybe few years or maybe after when I uh, when I am forty or thirty five. So th there is always a chance of regrowing, so but what do I'm you do to prevent that chance of regrowing? Is there anything that you can do? Right now, I'm not actually, you know, thinking of that right now. I just don't want to, you know, uh, no. you know, pressurize myself. Myself, yes, uh, I don't want to be in a, into, you know, I don't want to go into that negative thing. I just want to stay happy right now. Yeah, since I fought a lot, you know, a yeah. hard time. So tough I think battle. yes, it, it was a very tough battle, and I think I deserve to be, you know, happy. Yeah, you do. I'm just 29 and have a lot of you know life to live. Yeah. So yes. Okay, so you are in a good place right now. Yes, I'm, I'm so in you're married. In, in I'm married. Yes, yes. It's okay. just been uh, three months. Mm -hmm. I got married, and I started a small pan shop, okay. and right now I'm in a very happy place. Yeah, I see. You're very proud of your life right yes, now. Yes, I'm your really, shop, really. Your business, your, <laughs> yeah. your domestic life. I right? know it's a small thing, yeah. but yeah, I'm yeah. happy. So it's as long as it's my people are eating, eating doma, doma, yes, I got no business, problem. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had a really tough battle. So when you were in the depth of your despair, what, uh, you know, how did you keep going? I think, you know, along the way, I knew that, you know, the integrative cancer care is not only about your body. Mm. It's also about the, you know, mind-body connections, your, you know, your support system. Support system is the m you know most important thing when you are battling with the cancer, mm. and I think I have a, you know great great team, mm. my parents, my family, my friends, my friends are really really supportive. My husband, they really supported me you know along the way. In the year when I was diagnosed with cancer, my oh. light for hope was born. 2018. Uh, that was 2018 uh, Jan. My you know niece, she was born and she's first child in our family. So you know, oh, she's the first child. In yes, family. yes, yeah. yes. And I was there in the labor room holding my sister's hand, and I wouldn't miss you know uh, the you know that beautiful the beautiful moment. moment for her you know in my life. So I wanted to uh, you know survive for her. I wanted to see her growing stage. I wanted to be there when she cries. I wanted to hold her hands when she feels low. I wanted to see her, you know, growing. I wanted to see her get into schools. I wanted to, pam I wanted to you know, just pamper her my whole life. And she was the one, I think, who, you know, pulled, uh, you pulled out me despair. out of that, yes. Okay, so you held on to that beacon of light, right? You yes. held on to that dearly and yes. you fought and you fought and you came out a victor, right? Yes. Uh, Vima, you have conquered cancer, the dreaded cancer, right? So what do you think about life in general now that you turned out as the victor? Well, I'm still discovering about life, you know, I'm just 29, I'm yeah. still discovering. You know, it's a blessing to have, you know, both sorrows and happiness on your way. Uh, as it says, you know, life is a hustle. Don't mm. always expect to it to be a sunshine. You know, yeah. you need to expect. Life is not the, the bed yes, of roses, yes, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. You need to expect, you know, rain. S sometimes storms too. Yeah. And you need to endure all those things. You know, you need to take it, you know, in a good way. Yeah. So it's a blessing to have both, you know, sorrows as well as the happiness. Yeah, yeah. Without, you know, uh, either of them, yes. you would not know. Yes, that's not know. a life. You yeah, know, if you are it's always it's happy, yeah. that's not a life. Yeah. yeah. Without night, we would not know day. Without yes, light, yes, we would we not know, know white, light. You know? Yes. We need that contrast yes. to prove one another, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, after listening to your story, I think you are one resilient girl with positivity and wisdom at your core. So kudos to that. And I Thank wish you. you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank all the you. best with your little pan shop. Thank I'll you. come to eat <laughs> Doma once. <laughs> I'll come to eat uh, Michapan once. Sure. I hope you get me some good Yes, Michapan. yes, I'll get you some goodies <laughs> in <laughs> really there. Located? Uh, well, it's located near uh, Barbisa IT Park. 
Hope so it's possible. Yes, yes. So yeah, I'll try to come there once. So all the best to you. Lovely hearing you. your story. You. I am inspired. So I hope Thank like you. you know our viewers I'm were glad inspired I'm, as well. You know, I could inspire people. Yeah, you are doing that. So all the best and Thank kudos you. to you. Thank okay. you. Okay, Vima, the next segment, it is called uh, Fun Facts. So mm -hmm. in this segment, I would like to know two fun facts about Vima Subedi. Well, I believe I'm a very sociable person, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, if someone, you know, spends a day with me, I think she or he will pretty much know about, you know, almost about <laughs> me. <laughs> so I'm very life, serious. You talk yes, a lot about yourself. I talk a lot. My friends mm -hmm. always say, you know, you talk a lot. I really do that because I love doing that. Yes, yeah, nice. Yes, I love knowing you know people. I love sharing about myself. You know, I love doing that. You're a social butterfly. Yes, yes, I I'm really social. That. That's why you like to be in social media, right? <laughs> yeah. You cannot. This is pandemic. You cannot talk to people yes. face to face. You're I'm on social always media. Always social media. Yes, so you yes. have to do some. I mean, you have to do your part, right? So you're doing your part beautifully. <laughs> okay. Second fun fact is. And second fun fact, I don't know whether it's true or, or not about me, but I like to say, you know, I like being. Uh, staying fashionable, not mm -hmm. that you know, over the top fashion, but you know I like styling up myself. Okay. Even when I, you know I, I was going for my radiotherapy, people used to say, you know, my husband was the patient. Patient, <laughs> they were so confused, you know. Oh, yes, yes. Everybody, you know, was because quite. You're so stylish yes, and I, I, I always tip stay. Tip, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, even doctors used to when when I used to visit hospital, they used to say, call the uh, call the patient. Oh my so God, when, I said, when you were there. Yes, I'm the patient. And they used to look at me like this, you know. But you're so yes. stylish. I thought you were a model or something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's going on in his <laughs> head, right? <laughs> yes, yes uh, even, you know, a few people, you know, after mm, my story came in Humans of Tempo, mm. you know, people were texting me that they, they thought, you know, the when I w went bald, they thought I did it for, for fashion. Oh my and, God. you know, they were so, you know, appreciating me for carrying out yeah, that very way. what yes, you yes. call that, that, you know, the edgy look, right? <laughs> you did, for, did it for the edgy, <laughs> edgy uh, uh, factor. <laughs> yes, I think I, you know, I like dressing up. I mm. really like dressing up. Yeah, I see I you are a very, you know, fashionable <laughs> young woman. I mean, you <laughs> look nice, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, to all the viewers who are watching this show, uh, especially those who are battling cancer, uh, I want to I want to tell you that please be strong. Know that you know uh, cancer is all about the more of a mental battle than a physical one. So the more strong you are, the more you know likely you will be able to fight with it. And always find your love. You know, always be with the people who cheer you up. Don't be in a you know negative environment. Always be positive. Always have faith in God. Always you know pr uh, always pray. And it's okay to be diagnosed with cancer, you know, it's okay. You can fight back and, you know, have faith in yourself. Miracles can, hap uh, ha can happen at any time. So all the best for th those who are battling against cancer. Another thing, please don't uh, unnecessarily Google about your illness, you know, it will just, just tear you down. Those survival rate uh, uh, which we see in the go uh, Google will really make you hurt bad. So don't unnecessarily Google up. And I want to thank my parents, my family, my, my husband, my friends who were there to cheer me up, you know, during my hard time. And I want to thank our government and all those doctors who treated me. Thank you. Thank you, Vima, for being on the show. I gained a lot of insight on life uh, amongst others. That's all we have for you now. Thank you for making me a part of your day and I'll see you soon. Till then, be positive and take care. Goodbye for now.